Vedic art really comes from a level of silence. And it's very important that you learn to find your own source of, um, of creativity and create from there. And like, for example, you don't listen to music while you do Vedic art. You can, but you don't listen. It's not like I put on some music and then everyone listens to the same music because you may be in a different mood. And I'm sure that you could create with other people, but mostly it's really about learning to find your own way and to um, explore those fine fabrics of, of creativity, which are very subtle sometimes. It's really going into this space and this open door into the unknown.